Hi, I'm Greg Araki. Thank you for coming to Amazon to see my film. Yeah, the remaster of The Living End, it was something that I had wanted to do for years and years because um, I love the film and you know, I'm really proud of it, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen it for, you know, I hadn't seen it for 16 years. But um, I know that there were a lot of technical problems with it and I was also told that um, the copy, because it was, the film was being taught in like film courses, and, you know, film studies classes and queer studies classes in universities and that they were watching this old like VHS copy of it that was really terrible quality. And I, somebody told me it like jumps out of the film projector gate. Or I mean, it just, it just was kind of a night for, nightmare for me as a director just to think of your film being sort of screened in these sort of um, not technically uh, adequate uh, ways. So I always wanted to remaster the film. So when we had the opportunity, uh, I was really excited about it because we got to go back and you know not change the film in any sort of significant way, but really um, completely remaster the image from the original negative, and so the image is <clears throat> much brighter, and sharper, and clearer than it's ever been. And also remaster the soundtrack because the soundtrack was mixed in mono, and it was this very crude um, mix that you could hardly hear, and you couldn't hear the dialogue, or the, there's no separation between backgrounds and music and everything. So. It was really great to be able to go back and you know, do all that stuff. And um, I didn't want to change the movie at all, but I did want to make it technically more um, more acceptable, so that the technical like stuff in it didn't sort of get in the way of the experience of the movie. So well, the queer new wave is something you know I get asked about all the time since that. Uh, you know, The Living End, uh, Poison, Swoon, uh, The Hours of Time, Go Fish. There was sort of like in the early 90s this sort of group of movies that were all made kind of individually by all these different artists working on New York or LA or all, kind of all over. And, um, <clears throat> you know, there was no real movement. There was no, it wasn't like a coalition of filmmakers, but it was really just a lot of sort of youngish filmmakers that had all these ideas and um, were sort of had their sort of gay or queer identity sort of in common. And so these movies sort of all came out and it really helped the films, I think, in a sense, particularly in the case of The Living End. I think that if The Living End had come out all by itself and was just like playing the Sunset Five, you know, <laughs> for two weeks or three weeks or whatever, I don't think it would have really had the impact that it did coming out as sort of being seen as part of this larger movement. So. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Queer New Wave was really, at the time, sort of became this big kind of cultural um, thing that people were talking about, and film critics were talking about it, and it's actually now become sort of part of like, queer history. And you know, so it's really you know, kind of amazing to me for The Living End to be part of that in the sense that we were just, you know, it was just me and a handful of you know, my friends basically kind of making this little tiny like twenty thousand dollar movie, sort of on our, on our own, and sort of became a part of this much bigger, bigger kind of thing. But you know, the Courtney Wave, I think, was very specifically related to this period in the mid nine or the sort of late eighties, early nineties, where it was when there was ACT UP and Queer Nation, and you know, there was a huge um, sort of atmosphere of feeling in the air um, as far as um, the sort of AIDS crisis and this sort of government's lack of doing anything about it, and people were dying, and, pe and people had all these friends that were dying, and it was, there was so much kind of grief and anguish and anger, all these sort of like really kind of intense kind of emotions going on, I think amongst particularly gay people at that time, that that's sort of kind of where the queer new wave and those films sort of came from, I think there's a lot of those feelings. And you know, certainly AIDS is still a problem. You know, it's obviously you know not gone away, but it's a much different problem today in 2009 than it was in 1989. So um, I think that that um, sensibility is not really the same as it was, and I think that's to a large extent why um, gay films today are not really 
the same, they don't have that same sort of edginess or desperation um, uh, or kind of urgency, I think, that um, a film like Swoon or The Living End um, had at that time. As far as changing anything in the living end goes, I mean, I really made a specific um, uh, promise to myself when we remastered it not to change anything because I didn't really because the film, you know, I think is such a part of history and people have such sort of memories of it that I didn't want to really go back and like re-edit it or change the pace of it or change the music or do really do anything significant so much as to kind of technically clean it up and make it essentially a, a better version of the same movie. Um, I was not really tempted to change it for that, pretty much for that reason. You know, I, I felt in a way like, you know, as a director, obviously, I think my style has changed. I mean, there is definitely my kind of trademark style in that film, even in its early, early stages, you know, um, through the years of all, with all the other movies I've, I've made over the years. Um, there are definitely shots and sort of trademark stylistic quirks in it that are not changed at all from that movie to Smiley Face, you know. But, um, you know, I didn't really want to go back and change anything significant because I felt like um, it would sort of be like, I don't know, just be sort of messing with the past and I really wanted to leave the past kind of as it was, just make it a little bit shinier.